Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And I am very happy and honored to have my model, Tammy, with I'm me. glad you didn't call me your mother. Heck, why would I ever do that? <laughs> I am the mother. <laughs> my model, wig virgin or not? No, not. Not, okay, you wear some wigs. Okay. I've had many from Godiva's Secret. Okay, you say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, um, first of all, what do you do? Or do you work? Or? I do. I okay. own a business where we help people find the just right senior living for people's needs. It's called Placement. It's a free service. Oh, wonderful. And what's it based out of? Where? We handle all of Ventura County, all of the San Fernando Valley, and the Santa Clarita Valley. All right. We're localized. We know all the places very well. They know us. Oh, we great. work with clients. Super. So if you're in the San Fernando Valley, California, and you need help with a, adult senior placements, mm -hmm. give this gal a call. Okay. So we're going to talk about something very specific today, and I'm going to put quite a few wigs on Tammy. And what we're going to talk about are clients who have a little smaller forehead because I haven't been able to show it. I haven't had a model here to be able to work with and you know I have a pretty high forehead so I've got the other side of of the look. So first just to show you and and we don't edit this is a you know this is how we do a one-shot deal on all of our videos. So this is a learning experience for both of us as well. Have you ever gotten into the whys and the what? No. It's very oh. interesting. Okay. So I'm going to give you what I've got. I spent a little time. So first of all, for those of you artists out there, you know, but an average face from the top of the head to the chin, the eyes are normally in the middle. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when we have hair that is a, a hairline that is lower than the typical, Okay. So, so when it is like this, an average size face, the eyes are in the middle. What's that mean? That means that when we're looking at a typical face shape, we're honing in on the eyes. And that's kind of what we want. But when your face and your forehead is a little shorter, that's going to make your face a little shorter. And so what happens? is the center of your face is going to be somewhere around on your nose. Hmm. So the goal is how do we create an illusion that you have a little higher forehead? So that's what we're going to play with today. There's a couple of ways to do that. And one is to, and, and we're going to see if, this, if these uh, ideas really work on Tammy. But one is to have a side part like you do, and brush it over with a little fullness. So machine teased wigs are really, I think, the way to go because a mono wig is flat with the see-through scalp. They're great, but you're going to have a flat look and that's going to possibly accentuate more of your center, which you may not want. We want to bring it up to the eyes if we can. So one of the ways, by the way, I'm wearing Tiffany in Cayenne Spice. My wig is seven years old. I wore it all dolled up for my son, Dean, and his wife, Brittany's wedding. So I just have to show you seven-year-old wig, Tiffany. I trimmed it just a little bit. Anyway, I digress, which I do a lot. <laughs> so one way, like I said, side part, a little lift. And another way is to have a little longer bangs, not thick bangs. Otherwise, you're just going to be looking at your bangs. But a little longer so we can click, clip the wig up a little bit higher and then notch and make some airy bangs to create that illusion that we want. Okay? Okay. So let's see. And I'm, I'm putting my glasses on for this because I want to really kind of decipher this and see if we can figure it out. So, here we go. And these are going to be short to medium wigs. 
I picked some different colors for Tammy. Let's try it and see what we do. So Quinn in Marble Brown H, I'm gonna give this wig a little bit of a lift. Want me to do it? Uh, I will have you do it in a minute. Okay. But I want to, I want to see what, or you know what, why don't you show me where you put it? True. Okay. Oh, it's pretty comfortable. Good. Very light and airy. So what, if this was your wig, where would you put it on your forehead? Would you leave it right there? I want it. Yeah. And I have a brush here. Okay. Okay, so that actually is looking good. I like it. Number one, how we doing? <laughs> okay, I like that. Now let's just see. So Tammy's hairline is right here. So she's wearing the wig a little bit higher. Now do you find you need to sew any clips to secure it? Or does it feel great? So, so that tells me from Tammy's answer that she's, everything is, the shape of her head is average. It's just that her hairline is a little bit lower and that's all there is to it. Wow, so a little side part like, you, I don't even need that's to do anything. That's very natural looking. Yeah, I wanna tuck you in a little bit right here. But even if your, look at your little sides are gray. Yeah, I spray them. Okay, all right, I would love that. That's awesome. But, but I it, sprayed them today and they're still sticking out. Well, it's so close though. When you're wearing a short wig and you're gonna show a little temple hair, that's the place, first place where we go gray mm -hmm. normally. Do you remember if that was it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that doesn't, that's not gonna stand out like a sore thumb, ladies. That's not gonna scream, I'm wearing a wig. But even taking a little bit of this right with it, is that you or the wig? That's that was the me. wig. Wait, <laughs> this little longer piece is the wig. Okay. So that matches and works right in. Oh, good. Do you show all your ears? Sometimes. Okay, cute. Uh, either way, it's all good. So I'm going to give you a little turn, and I want to show you. You can wear a wig straight down. Personally, what I prefer, and it dresses it up a little bit, is to take your fingers and just bring them to the back and then you get a great feathered little look and you really see the beauty the color is great on you tammy wow marble brown h okay it's, it's like my hair was about 10 years ago love it <laughs> and i like it with your eyebrows your coloring so there we go let's keep going okay Number two, Selma. And I took you a little deeper in ginger brown. Okay. Oh, sorry, you go. <laughs> oh, my job is easier with Tammy. Yeah, I have a hair, a wig that's this color and it's too solid and blocky. Okay. okay. Although okay. this at least has highlights in it. Okay, but as far as style also, because mm -hmm. we can always get you a better color. Yeah. So would you wear it this full? I don't think so. so and I, I feel like it's making my jawline look really square. Let's I don't see. Know. Yeah, I, what I like it on the last wig is the softness, the little rounded part. This is pretty straight mm -hmm. and it's a great wig, but I don't think it's softening you at all. So, okay, there we go. Not that it's not a great wig. It is a great just wig. not for Tammy. It's all not right. bad. <laughs> okay, Meg. Meg in Mochaccino R. So I had a feeling that Tammy could wear a lot of different colors within the same range. On this video, I'm taking her a little cooler in some, a little warmer in some. Meg. Yeah, a little funky. I like the first one best. I okay, think. I want to do I mean, they're something. They're pretty similar. And then tell me, because I'm going to wet it to make it more PC, less bushy. So put okay. your fingers in there and just play with it a little bit. 
but it, it is fuller than Quinn. Mm -hmm. And maybe you don't need that. Well, I like it, but the very first one, I just, it was like, this feels right. Wild. All right. Maybe it's just because it was first. I don't know. So I want to show everyone. So where are you? So your hairline, you're pretty close. Mm -hmm. So let's, I just want to play just a touch. Sure. No, because it's got the shorter bang, that doesn't work. Mm -mm. So having it right where you did. And so... It's pretty similar to the first one, wouldn't you it say? It is, but you know what? Let's pop Quinn on right now for those of you that are comparing for yourselves, too. So that was Meg. Here is Quinn. Less hair, absolutely. Less fullness. What do you think? I, I love Quinn on you. And thank you for asking. <laughs> I do. I wanted just to give you that little bit of lift right there and not have it all coming down. Right. I like to bring it, that little lift, and then bring this up and back. So when I brush it, the idea would be to... Yeah, or use your fingers. I mean, I barely, when I'm putting a wig on, typically I might give it a little brush, mm -hmm. then I put it on and with clean fingers, yes. I play, I just play until I get it where I want. Yeah. And my little bit of gray seems to be okay, actually. With this color, it works really well. It mixes right in. And I'm feeling like it gives my face a little bit of a lift. Mm-hmm. It does. And the one thing I want to say, too, for those of you that are wearing a short wig, please check and see, do you need to cut? If your hair is a different color, do you need to cut here just a little bit? Sometimes we have little uh, straggly hairs mm. and always look back. So your hair is a touch longer. Mm. So if you were going to do this, I'm ready for her. okay, then you would just trim, trim your own hair just a touch, because we want to do everything we can to make the illusion work, right? So, okay, let's move on. So Meg, no, no, right now. Selma. Okay, I think Quinn. And Selma was no, no. I'm here with you because it's hard for me to be decisive. Okay, well, I'm going to help you. I just, I don't, I don't want to be the decision maker for what touches you, okay. but I want to be your guide. I, I am the tour guide of wigs right now, okay? So I wanted to see Christy on you. This is Chocolate Frost, and I like the color for you. Here you go. So you can see that Tammy, I would probably call her Sandy Silver, but she works with these brown shades, the cooler, brown shades. However, marble brown H, marble brown is a little bit warmer. So that's telling me, ooh, that she can wear brown and cool. Oh, all right, let's just look a minute. Now, of course, not everyone in the world can put every wig on and not have it trimmed. And especially when Tammy's hairline's a little bit lower, most women with Christie need to trim unless they want it in their eyes. But if I just trim that just mm -hmm. a little bit, and I, I don't want to have like heavy right here mm -hmm. because to me that starts saying wig. Mm -hmm. So typically if it's a woman's own hair, she doesn't have a lot of hair right there. Yeah. Just some wispies. So, talk to me, Tammy. I like it. It's I different. do too. It, it's it's nice as a at least an alternate wig. Mm -hmm. So here is Tammy's hair. Here's the wig. I and look at you can, and we can move tuck this it hair. Has got to get tucked in to yeah. me. And right now, let's just hide all of your hair right, right. here. I, I think it's definitely a good idea to get a good short haircut too. Yeah really good looking and tell us what you think we want your opinions and do you have a shorter forehead also and do you have any tips 
please put it in the comments of this video. I like this sleek, it's, it looks very modern. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it could take you, I know like, like Tammy's gonna be having pictures done, professional pictures in what she's wearing today. So I'm so glad that you wore this. So looking at how your image would be, I like it. I'm gonna show you the back in a minute, Tammy. I wanna show everybody else. So this is Christy. And again, a little trimming of your hair. And I can trim well, that band. Oh yeah, I could do it on you right here. Oh. Before you leave. Okay. It would be done, my dear. Let's do it. So, all right. She's ready to go. And I've got more wigs to show. <laughs> so but wow. Okay. And so what I in the research I did, side part, a little lift. And so that's what you're getting. It's taking the focus. I mean, it looks Look at the size of your forehead. Mm -hmm. Everything looks like it's just in the perfect place. And I'm looking at your eyes. It elongates my forehead. Yes, yes. And the side part takes the attention away instead of just having, like we'll see on some others, bangs all the way across. So very interesting. Excellent. Oh, Quinn, you have some competition, baby. All right. Now, I also brought Christy in Sandy Silver because I had a feeling it might be good. Wow. Okay. That's very close. Are you to open to... Yes, yes, and that's why I thought... You know, I met Tammy briefly. Be wow, how long was it? Maybe six, eight months ago. It was at the Dark uh, Damsel. Right. Yeah. It was uh, at a friend's house is where we met. And... So, but I don't remember and women's hair color changes. So sometimes I get lucky. Hmm, I know you're all gonna comment between both colors. So the first color of Christy was chocolate frost. And then we have sandy silver. This goes exactly with your hair. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do a thing. So what do you think about, well, I mean, you are gray, so yes. you're good with gray. Very soft. I could see you in both colors. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So let's give you a little spin. Oh, and I'm gonna show you. She just did the back here. Can you see the back? I do. Okay. I wondered about if the front could have a little more darkness in it. Okay, great question. And many clients ask that the majority of you clients around the world, you do not want sandy silver changed. So we keep it the way it is. However, we have mascara hair wand sticks, or you can even buy Copic uh, felt tip markers at a craft store and then you can put your own mm. little roots in or you can color and make it a little deeper yourself. And I know many of you have done it. You send in pictures of yourself on our Facebook, our Godiva Secret Wig Community Facebook group. We have, have, are you familiar with that? No. No, we just started a Facebook group and already we've got thousands of women and they are sharing photos, they're asking questions. It's l so loving and supportive. And I can't look quick enough, the feed is so fast. So many of them, you can put in, what do you use mm -hmm. for your roots or to make darker highlights, they'll tell you. Okay, so Christy's good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. Lisa was a pick that you had, yep. and this color, Chocolate Frost R, sorry. I'm in such a habit of putting them on myself. No, I don't think so. 
All right, so first of all, I could round those bangs out more, but this straight across bang doesn't do it for you. No, 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 no. And I think the length isn't actually good on me. I've yeah. tried long and it just doesn't seem to work. Okay, well, I have some long. I still want to put on okay. you to try. Okay, Abigail in Marble Brown. So I picked a few wig choices knowing mm -hmm. I could trim, I could do my shtick, yeah. where typically a client doesn't think about it. So Abigail, which is a lace front wig in Marble Brown H, the same as the Quinn that I put on Tammy, same color. Okay, so a lace front. If we put bangs, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a beautiful wig. On the right face. On Just on it, a different face. Okay, <laughs> got it. Next, Sunset in Iced Mocha. This is so fun. Good, that's what I wanna hear. Normally I don't like wig trying, but it's really fun with you. Well, thank you. I'm so glad you live close by because some clients fly in, they drive in from hours and hours away. So let's look at this a minute. And I, again, think this, like that information I shared, we need a side part and a little longer hair. You know, that's not bad though. If, if you wanted to go just messy, Uh -uh. Oh no, I mean, I know what I like, but I am not saying yet. Okay, then I had to put Freedom on you. I've got to try because it's our number one wig all over the world and I know that I can trim it up if need be. But let's, let's see if Freedom's gonna work, work the magic or not. It almost looks like what you're wearing. <laughs> well, I do have my wig for you to try. So right now, you have freedom at your hairline. I want to bring it up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to take it up and away from your face. No, it's just, it, it's, it's good, but it's not as good as Quinn and Christy. I look like a beatnik. <laughs> beatnik? <laughs> well, you know, you're used to your shorter hair yeah. right now. So, well, get ready, because I'm, I'm putting some longer wigs on you right now. Terrific. So, So, if you are trying longer or something a different, different color, like Tammy is right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw her a little bit. The whole idea is don't make different wrong. Just let different be different because Tammy doesn't know it, but myself and many, many thousands of you, you've got two to 20 and 30 and more of our wigs. Wow. So they have wig wardrobes. They actually will choose the wig in the mood they're in first and then coordinate their clothes. So it happens. And so it's making any wig okay, because mm -hmm. everyone's walking around with all kinds of hair. This is Chantel in Maple Sugar. So I just wanted to see Tammy a little warmer, a little longer, and let's test these theories that we need a little lift and or longer, thinner bangs. Oh, you. See, she just wants to play. I don't know her well enough, but I am learning real quick. <laughs> All right, so what? My notes said long bangs, but I think that might be a little too long. This really takes away from my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> All I'm seeing is the tip of your nose, girl. Like, like it in that old show, The Munsters. <laughs> so, no, it's just too much hair for you. Okay, got it. Let's move on. So remember, our goal, we're staying really focused for Tammy and that is what works best for a little, at least Tammy's shorter, little smaller forehead. And I think we're finding out. And 
So the last wig is the wig I'm wearing. I'm wearing Tiffany, and I had to see it because, and I wanted you to see it too. When would you see yourself in longer hair? So I want to put it on you. Just close your eyes and let me do my, let me do my thing. Pretend we don't know Tammy. <laughs> we never met her. And let's just see, is it too much? Yeah, you're going to faint in this wig. <laughs> okay. So no. I already I can feel her energy and it is like, oh no, get this off me, right? <laughs> so off we go. So between the two colors of Christy, mm -hmm. because I want to put Quinn back on you so we can all see between Sandy Silver and this uh, chocolate frost. Chocolate frost. Okay. I do like the sandy silver, yeah. maybe for some occasions, I don't know. All right, why don't you put Chocolate Frost Christy back on. We're going to really look at these two wigs because, you know, when I have a model here, I'm so appreciative. <clears throat> and here, do your thing. Pretend like you're going to go for pictures right now. And then I can trim you in either wig. Any of my models, I'm so honored that they trust me to be on video and be shown all over the world to all of you. So they get to choose any wig that they want. Any one wig is a gift from Godai, the Secret Wigs, and we trim it. So I don't see anything about your uh, hairline. I see nothing, right? Meaning? Meaning the attention, when you're wearing Christy, the attention is on the side part, the little height, the sexy little dip right here that even if we trim, it's still going to have that sophisticated or casual look, whatever you want. This side seems a little shorter than this side. It is. It's meant is to be. Purpose? Yes, because we want this dip. Now, many women, and I can do it on you also, will trim all of that shorter. Mm -hmm. So when I'm trimming, or if you're going to have your Christie trimmed, always have them start right between the eyes first. Get that length where you want it, mm -hmm. and then we talk about it a little further, a little further, a little further. Like These little wispies, even if we trim this shorter, you see that? You can still have that with me. Yeah, I like it coming down. Okay. It's just, it's in my eye, that's all. And absolutely, it is too long. So, and I know some clients, like we have Char in uh, Canada. She was a recent model of mine that wore all white top pieces. She wanted those bangs in her hair, and I could not do nothing to persuade her. Great. Yeah, that's what she loves, and she looks beautiful but it will normally bother you. So I'll trim just so it's almost uh, too long. It appears like I almost need a haircut. So that's where I like to trim. Wow, let me give you another little spin around. And so we've done nothing. You see, I didn't even work on the back, nothing. Mm -hmm. I think sensational. Do you want to try Quinn again, or are you sold right here? Oh, Quinn I Quinn like was the very first, first one. one. I definitely like okay, that. Okay, let's I, do it. I like them both. All right. So I'm feeling pretty happy right now. And I think we saw that short bangs on a little smaller forehead may not be the way to go. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for a wig. This seems a little more everyday, and I really like the, is it the Christie? Yes. This is Quinn. And so I want to, may I? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I see that, so is that bang the length where you want it? Um, or would you take I, it up just to touch? Okay. And I'm only asking you, there's not a right answer for okay. me. 
There's just what do you want? And then I want to take this a little up and back. So some women, and this is not Tammy, but if you have very thin, fine hair, many women will take a wig and from the top middle, they will brush it down. Think because maybe they're used to doing that with their own hair. But uh, on a wig, it's about making the illusion that you've got fine. you got a great amount of hair and you're good with it. So the bang normally is right at your hairline. Use that as the bang and this other hair take up and back. And it will give you that little bit of lift. So that's what I want to do here. We don't want to just necessarily bring it down. Let's bring it up and back or to even to the side. So is that where you would want the bangs or you want them lower or you want I was them? just mainly going by how it feels okay. on my head. All it right. wasn't so much about the bang. Okay. It was about the feeling. Okay. What do you think? Well, you, you all know what I'm thinking already. I mean, I am nuts about Christy on you. I, I'm nuts about it. I love Can I get one free and buy one? I think you can. I think you can. I will give you the more expensive one. How's that? <laughs> That's a good deal. Okay. So just one more time before we say goodbye. Are you, are you saying yes to Christy? I am. <laughs> okay. So why don't you put her on? And right now, let's do a trim. I'm going to get my cape and my scissors and let's go. Where is my cape? Okay, you can talk to everybody if you want. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I wish I could get all of you weighing in on what you think. <laughs> Great. But I guess that will happen with the Facebook thing. Well, and when the video comes out, I will let you know. So, so what do you think? I like it. Oh, wow. I, I think it's me. I love it. And I love also that it gives you this lift. Do you mm -hmm. all see that? And I think, again, part of it is this side part coming over. You don't need any hair right here. A lot of women do need that hair. Mm -hmm. But Tammy has a really trim, beautiful shaped face. She doesn't need that to soften her neck. You've got a great neck, girl. Thank you. Okay, so I want to make sure it's on even. Yes, it is. Now those little curvy ear tabs, mm -hmm. so do you feel, feel them right now? Feel how they come out just a little bit? Okay. You don't want them to come out. Okay. So our, all of our ear tabs have a thin, thin little wire. You really wouldn't yeah. even know unless I tell you. Yeah. Keep them flat and not like a wing because then it keeps the tabs right against your, your face. Looks more like hair that way and lays flatter. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Wow, this was easy. Right? Yeah, well, you made it easy. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So let's just start. I know where you like your bangs. I see you. So I'm going to trim longer than I know you like. Okay. And we're going to work our way right up. And I'll tell you when to open your eyes. I'm always trimming on the diagonal. Never, never right across. So I want you, to, and I'm going to be rounding this out. It's going to soften it. I would like to take a little more here because it's okay. closing up mm -hmm. your face right there. And I'm not pulling down when I'm trimming because many bangs, if you pull down and you trim from there, it's going to pop up and be too short. 
So please keep that in mind. What I'm saying is do not pull down and trim because see how it just sprung right back up. Plus, if we're gonna round it, this is the best item, Tammy. This is our hot roller brush. And all of our wigs at Godiva, secret wigs, no human hair, only very high quality synthetic. And that's because they have memory curl when you wash them with our products, they dry the way you bought them, they'll feel great, they'll never frizz. However, no heat, no curling iron, no flat iron, no super hot rollers. This is the one item, and it's really, I find, all that I need. So, I'm gonna take it and I use my fingers, put my fingers inside to help the bang curve around. And I'm doing it a few times, it's not super hot. So like our low alcohol hairspray, perfect for high quality synthetic, but it's not a super hold. So this is not super hot. So you do it a few times. But see how it's rounding out already? Mm -hmm. For a big fat smile from you. That's beautiful. Now, oh wow, wow, wow. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just want to do a couple more. I just want to soften it up just a touch. So you can flatten this mm -hmm. if you want to flatter a more casual look. Mm -hmm. Just flatten it. You're going out. Remember, machine teasing. Just give it a little scratch, give it a tickle, and it comes right up. Your little gray works beautiful. Sorry, I'm talking over this. Your little gray, beautiful, works beautifully. Just bring a couple of those little pieces right down. See, there's that brown right there, it mixes in with your gray. So, this little piece is meant to be over here. So, I might trim it a little bit. I almost don't want to because this side is a little longer. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to get into that straight line across right now. So I would like to leave that. Then if you want to trim it, you can always trim it after. You know, ladies, don't trim your wig in haste. If you get it and it's a little too long or it feels like a little too much hair, put it behind your ears pull it back with a clip, or just get used to it. I know so many of you, you get a new wig in, you're not sure, you're not trusting yourself, put a photo on our Facebook page, many of you, and I've seen you get 80 comments, 100 comments, and the women will say, just wear it to the mall, just get used to it, and they, they comment back after a day or two and say, Okay, I love it. Nobody knew. My husband gave it a thumbs up and it's all good. So I suggest you don't do things in haste with a new wig. Golly! We hit it. High five. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now, I'm still not done because I feel that's oh, bothering that your eye, right? Yeah, make it, it just barely. It off just, a little bit, yeah, huh? just barely. A little, little trimming can make a huge difference, but I don't want to get into that straight across bang, and that's what is so cool. So with Christy, you can wear this back. Mm -hmm. You can put it behind your ears and leave a little of this. Mm -hmm. You can pull some of it forward, like you have choices with it little duck thing there. It's we, great. Thank you, Rochelle. So absolutely. I want to take this off. So are you going to wear this for your photo? I think I'll wear this one, yeah. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So thank you all for watching. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel? I like a new woman. Seriously? I mean, really? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, so what do you... My husband's going to love this. Oh, you're going out to dinner tonight, honey. <laughs> so just, I want to know how, like, how do you feel like a new woman? What is, what is it? Well, first I want to say I feel very grateful that you do this. Mm. Um, and you help Thank a you. lot of ladies. And I just, wow, it just, it really lifts my face up and it makes, I feel like I look brighter and younger and... That's been a big concern yes. at my age. You yes. know, the wrinkles start to come and constantly doing this and yes. <laughs> it helps. Wow, I love it, I love it. I love the color in it. As I'm looking so close, I can't look close enough. I love that little blonde brightens you right up and the style is really smooth and modern for you, so. Great. Enjoy, honey. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. And remember, we have over 550 videos on our Godiva Secret Wigs YouTube channel. Join our Godiva Secret Wig community. We've got a group page on Facebook. It is outstanding. And Danielle and I are on there. We are addicted, like a lot of you. And uh, we have our website, Godiva Secret Wigs. Check us out. Okay? Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye. Bye. Back because Tammy is also considering uh, Quinn. And I wanted to share with you, we're getting very clear on what, we, what is good, a good way to wear it for Tammy and not as flattering. And did you see how you're just playing and the whole wig moved? Mm -hmm. Do you have a... Chin, adjustable chin strap? No. Okay. So here's what you do. You just clip it right to the, um, the, tab. the, the ear tab. Mm -hmm. And so just do that. Clip it right to the ear tab. Just clips right on. And then take this and pull it to adjust it to your chin. Right up so it's firm. Now, when you're playing with your wig, it's not going to move. So what we were talking about before is we put Quinn, uh, Aaron, sorry, we put Quinn on and it's just laying very flat. And Tammy likes the idea of that it looks similar to her everyday hair. but. Do you agree this is not the most flattering? So we've just been playing and I wanted to share with you what we do. So again, like I was saying before in the video, we don't take hair from the middle and bring it forward. So that's what's happening right here. So if you get a wig, the way it came packaged to you doesn't necessarily mean that's the way it has to be. So here is a hairline, Tammy's hairline take it and take this hair back because see right away she's getting some extra height and interest is that too full for you no okay so again i'm going to switch you with a little water because this is how i love to play with the wig just to see what it will do and our wigs are of course fine to get wet you get and caught in the rain be a little further back sure Play with that. Yeah, so I want you to see now talking about bringing it back up and back. And that little height, let's take this little guy off now. <laughs> okay. So I like it much better. I like it for every day. It's that whole height that it still gave you the lift now. All in the way we brushed it, having nothing to do with the wig. Our wigs are amazing, but you've got to spend a little time and play and experiment and find what works for you. Do you see what we're talking about? So how do you feel about it now? I like it. And I yeah. feel like my, although you want my eyes in, a, in the middle, I feel like they look a little wider with this way. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, and it appears that your hairline, like I don't know where your hair, your hairline is right here. But I forgot and I'm thinking, 
it appears because we're taking this hair back that here is your hairline. So what's the center of your face? Your eyes. So that is a really important tip. Do you see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yes. And that was a good, really good lesson for myself. And if you sell wigs or if you're a wig wearer, that is a really important lesson. What do I see? I see your eyes. So they're both nice. In they're both ways. great in different ways. It's just what we did to them mm -hmm. to make them work for you. Okay. okay. Thanks. Had to include you. You know I love you all. Mwah. Talk to you later. So part three, <laughs> as Tammy and I are, you know, we might have 21 parts. I get a cup of coffee. But anyway, I'm looking beautiful and I'm wondering, do we need to fill in her eyebrows just a little bit? It's really easy to do. Uh, we're coming out with a, or we have an amazing makeup line and I many times use the eyeshadow just to touch and fill it in. But for now, let's just try one, one eyebrow and then I'll fill in the other. Not much. Just to complete the look. So I didn't do much at all. Do you see the difference? Yeah, you darkened it up a little bit. And I they darkened it up. Yes, yeah, so let's just see. Before, after. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It just makes the illusion work, especially when you're wearing a wig. You want to make sure, you know, everything is as right as can be. Even if you're wearing a messy wig, I don't mean it all has to be perfect, but the illusion is that you have enough hair, your eyebrows, it's just framing your eyes. And Tammy, you have gorgeous eyes, so why not just frame them just a touch more? I'm not doing any big deal right now. So another thing to play with, okay? All right, this is our last and final, okay, bye.